Hi everyone. Uh, this video is to show you how to take an exam view file and put it onto Schoology. Also some tips and tricks on how to actually create a test or quiz on Schoology and also some things to look for when you do take an exam view file and put it onto Schoology. So first things first, you're going to want to have either an already made quiz on exam view or create one. I have one open right now. Obviously, you can make your own quiz on exam view. Uh, make sure you do save it as an exam view file first. When you have your exam view file, you're going to want to go up to File. And you're going to want to export it. So you see where we have export here. And go over to Blackboard 7.1 to 9.0. It's very important that you pick the 7.1 and 9.0. Make sure that you save it, something that you'll remember. I'm just going to save this as chapter 5 quiz. Save it wherever you want. I'm going to save it to my desktop just because I'm going to delete it after. Hit export. Now you also need to make sure you name it and have a directory name. Oops. Make sure you have both names. It will now export it as a zip file. So I'll just show you where my zip file is at. Uh, there it is, chapter 5 quiz as a zip. Let's go back to Schoology. I would start at either your first or fifth hour class. I'm going to find my first hour eighth grade history. You could either do one of two things. You could add folders to it, or you can add it right here to the tests and quizzes. Adding folders is just like adding folders on like uh, my documents and Windows. Try to keep things organized a little bit better. I'm just going to go ahead and put it under tests and quizzes. So once we open up tests and quizzes, you want to go over to where it actually says add test or quiz. Click on that. We're going to name it quiz. Uh, make sure you give it a due date. Um, this is just a dummy quiz that I'm not going to give tomorrow, but I'll go ahead and put it on there. Let's say it's 25 points. Give it a category. Um, if you have not added categories yet, we have create new category down here. I'm going to put that as a quiz. A couple things I like to do. I like to grade uh, statistics. I like to enable that just to kind of show you some different things. Uh, I, I think comments are also good to enable, especially if you have short answer questions. Other cool things here, you can actually individually assign this to students. Let's so say a student was absent or wasn't able to take it that day. You can individually assign it to them instead of opening it up to the whole class. We're going to hit Create. Now you're kind of thinking, well, where's the quiz at? What you need to do is go up to where it says Add Question. And we're going to import the test or quiz. Make sure you click on Blackboard 7.1 to 9.0. Click Next. Now you need to click on the File button, which is right over here. If you look at it, it's kind of faded. It's hard to see. So make sure you put your cursor over there. Click on File. Um, There it is on my, let's find it on my desktop. There we go. Chapter 5 Quiz. Open that up. Click Import. give it a second to upload and the quiz is now on to Schoology for the students to take. Now when you are looking at this I strongly suggest that you preview each question. Go through here to make sure that the quiz was uploaded properly, that the formatting looks correct and the answers here are possibly correct. Just go through and you really want to check as well as the point values. Make sure everything is according to what you want it to be. Now when you want to uh, have your students take this, uh, make sure you go to the settings function here. Scroll down to availability. You can put some specific instructions there if you want. Availability is huge though to make it available now. I'm available now until that'll give you a date where it can only be available to. Or what I like to do is let's say I'm giving a quiz on 
Thursday this week. I'll put it on Schoology now. I want to make that available until Thursday at 7.30 in the morning until 3 o'clock when school ends. Time limits. Uh, if you want your students to have a time limit, you can change it to yes or no. Um, attempts. You can go 20 attempts all the way into unlimited. Randomized order, depending on if you have students sitting next to each other, you don't want them to cheat. You can randomize the questions for you automatically. Uh, paging here, I really like to use paging, uh, one question per page. So students are only looking at one question and not the entire thing, especially if they possibly skip one. Uh, using iPads, I think sometimes they may have an ability to scroll down a little bit too fast. Maybe they'll skip over a question. Now question review, uh, that's when they get done with the quiz. They can kind of make sure that they answer each question. Resumable, I think that's also important to put as yes, so that students have the ability to resume the quiz, especially if the internet drops out on them. We don't want them to have to retake the entire thing over again if they're almost done just because the internet dropped out. And then view submission, uh, yes or yes with correct answers. I like to put yes here so they see what they got wrong, especially if I want them to retake it so they know exactly what questions they got wrong. Make sure you always hit save changes or everything you just did will not save. Oops, I have to enter an until time. We'll just say the 16th. We'll make it at 11 a.m., why not? You can go back and check your questions again. Also, make sure to check the questions if you do import from ExamView again uh, from experience. I have noticed that sometimes the point values aren't proper. Let's say I want this question worth one point, I'll come over as two points. Just make sure you are checking ex your files when you do send them over. And I'll go ahead and go back to tests and quizzes here. Now, if you ever wanted to create a test on Schoology, I'll just create another random quiz here to show you. You can do so very much like exam view. If you go to add questions here, you can add true and false questions, multiple choice, some ordering, short answer or essay, a fill in the blank matching. I think just very simple, similar to how you would add questions on exam view. Write out your question here, gives you the choices, pick the correct answer, make sure you give it a point value. And you create a question. Simple as that. You have then a question created onto Schoology itself. If you have any questions on how to import a quiz from ExamView or just create any quiz on Schoology, please let me know. Go to the website, go to the contact form on the website, give me a question, or you can come find me in my classroom. Uh, let me know if you need any questions, any help, guys. I'm always, help, always happy to help.